Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a simple list view. As this series will cover all the important topics from beginner to advanced in Kotlin. So initial topics might sound very easy to you. But I believe as a beginner, you should be very confident enough about the basics. Then only you will be able to understand intermediate and advanced topics. Okay. Also, I have observed that my Java videos has more views as compared to Kotlin. So it seems like people have not fully accepted Kotlin yet. But trust me, the future of Android is in Kotlin. So I request you to switch to Kotlin as early as possible. All right, let's come back to our today's video. As it's a beginner video, hence we will be creating a simple list view. But we do have something called as custom list view, which I have already created a video on it. You can click on the i button to watch. But that's a little intermediate version of it. Okay, so for now, let's stick to the basics. So choose empty views activity, then click OK. Name the project as list view. And click finish. So first, let's do the prerequisites. Go to colors.xml. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the line. Then name the color as blue. And hex code as 1A90F1. And then, Then go to strings.xml. I'll change the app name to do list. And then, then go to themes.xml, change the parent from no action bar to dark action bar. Now we need to add three parameters. Let me first uncomment this. So the first item name is color primary and set the color as blue. Then control plus T and second item name is color primary variant. Then third item name is status bar color. All three of them, the color will be blue. Perfect. Now we are done with the prerequisite. Let's move on to activity main.xml. So to make it easy for you, I have divided list view in five steps. So the step number one is to create a list view in activity main. So let me quickly create it and then I'll explain you. And it's done. So we have given an ID as list view, then height width as match parent. Then I wanted a little gap between the action bar and list view, hence I have kept the margin top as 8 dp. Then lastly, all the four corner constraints. And then now let's go to main activity. As we are done with the step number one, so now let's move to step number two. Initialize the list view variable which we just created. Then we need to create an array list and in that array list, we will store all the list items. So in Kotlin, you just need to write array of and inside that mention all the items. So let me quickly do that. And then I have added five items in it. Okay. Now step number three is all about adapter. If we were creating a custom list view, in that case, we would have created a new adapter class and customize it accordingly. Got it? But as we are creating a simple list view, hence we will be using a predefined adapter. Okay? And as we are using array list, so we will go for array adapter. First, let me write the code and then I'll explain you.
So we have created an array adapter and stored it in the variable called as list adapter. Got it? Now let's understand the syntax of array adapter. So over here we have three parts. First represents the current activity which we refer to as this means our main activity. Then second represents the layout. So we will be using a predefined layout of list view which is provided by the ID itself. That is simple list item one. And then third should contain the array list. So we have created an array list named as list item, right? So we will mention it over here. Okay. Then in the same step, we will set the adapter on the list view. If you remember in Java, we used to write as set adapter method. But in Kotlin, you just have to write adapter. And we are done with this step number three. Now our next step is step number four. So our list view is created, but we need to make sure that all the items in the list view should be clickable, right? So to do that, we need to set on item click listener on the list view. Now to make the code readable, we will rename the parameters. So adapter will become as parent. Then I as position. And L as ID. Now what we will do is when the user clicks on the list item, then a toast will be shown as you have clicked on whatever the item name is. So how we will do it logically. We have few parameters over here, right? So out of which we will require two of them. The first is parent, means the entire list view or adapter view. And second is position, means as you're aware how array works, right? They all are, have their index positions like 0, 1, 2, correct? So we will store all the positions inside a variable. So let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you. See, we have stored the item position using the get item at position method in this selected item variable in a form of a string. Then I have wrote a toast that you have clicked on the selected item. Now dollar is used to refer the particular position of the item. And with that said, we are done with the coding part. Now the last step that is a step number five, run the app. See, all the items are in the list format. So when I click on a reader book, then a toast appears as you have clicked on read a book. Perfect. So yeah, that's it. Also make sure to save the playlist because I'll be uploading new videos such as Recycler, Fragments, MVM, Coroutines, CRUD in Firebase and many more. Not only that, but by the end of the playlist, we'll be creating projects such as news app, quiz app, to-do list and many more. So make sure that you follow the playlist. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.